Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So another week and another uh, Windows 11 Insider Preview build, which is build 22616, uh, which started rolling out this week, um, yesterday in my region of the world on the 5th of May 2022. And once again, this same build has rolled out for both the Dev and Beta Channel Insiders. And with uh, build 22616, uh, Microsoft says that they um, it includes a few changes and fixes. And then there is one new uh, major feature, which we'll discuss at the end of this video. Now, once again, they give a reminder, a uh, window for switching from dev channel to the beta channel is closing soon. And that's once they release builds with higher build numbers to the dev channel, which is a good indication, as I've posted previously, that uh, the beta channel is going to be moving to RTM release to manufacturing uh, soon where um, that would be very close to what we will get uh, in the uh, the uh, uh, feature update version 22H2 rolling out to the stable version in the latter half of this year. And also the watermark uh, at the lower right hand corner in the bottom right of, your, of the desktop um, is also no longer present and uh, missing in this build again, which is another indication that uh, um, the beta channel is soon going to become uh, and released to RTM, which is released to manufacturing, as mentioned. Now, they say that due to f uh, user feedback in the Insider program, they have decided to disable the changes in the system tray, which is found in the bottom right-hand corner of the taskbar, that they introduced in build 22581 for now, Microsoft says. So that could change again in the future, but for now, uh, they've disabled the changes where the system tray and specifically the show hidden icons fly out uh, um, wasn't uh, wasn't functioning the same way it did with the original release of Windows 11, including the ability to rearrange icons in the fly out. So with uh, the original release of Windows 11, which I'm showing you, which is the current, uh, which I'm doing this video on, which is the current stable release, you have the ability to rearrange your icons in that fly out and also drag them into some of the those icons into the system tray where with poll double two five eight one they um they removed that that option and now it's it's for now they say uh, that option is back which i think is a move in the right direction as this is just a basic feature i think the system tray and the taskbar needs to have in any windows operating system and then another change is they say with bold uh, uh, this latest build 22616 um, Windows Insiders on the uh, running Windows 11 Pro Edition will now require a Microsoft account and an internet connection during the initial device setup uh, which is called out of box experience only when setting up for personal use so that's for home users and if you choose to set up your device for work or school using your work or school account uh, this change will not apply and it will work the same way as before. So Windows 11 Pro Edition home users uh, will now need a Microsoft account and an internet connection for the out-of-box experience. And then just to go through some of those fixes quickly, uh, once again for the fly-out, um, the uh, fly-out in the system tray show hidden icons. So there are two changes and fixes for that um, in this latest build. And the second one, they say they fixed the issue causing the show hidden icons fly-out in the system tray to disappear completely for some insiders. So that's a bug that has been addressed. And then the uh, widgets in this latest preview build has um, uh, received two fixes where they say with widgets, um, they fixed an issue where if you try to open the widgets board using a gesture from the side of the screen, uh, you would see the widgets board open and then immediately close. So that's a bug that has been addressed. And then the second fix is they fixed an issue where users were unable to use the swap functionality to reliably, to reliably um, open and invoke the widgets. So that's two fixes for widgets in this latest preview build. And then there was also an issue that would uh, and could cause quick settings to crash uh, when projecting to certain wireless devices, which has also been addressed. And then the last fix, just uh, that's worth mentioning, is they fixed an underlying issue uh, which caused uh, some text in Windows Sandbox to appear as black boxes in certain cases. Now, just to get into the meat of uh, this latest build, um, uh, this latest uh, Windows 11 Insider Preview build, 
22616, which if we just head to a screenshot taken from the release notes, uh, they say now that insiders can now try out an early preview of a feature called Controller Bar. Um, uh, and Controller Bar is a preview of a new view of Xbox Game Bar that provides easy controller-friendly access to recently played games and game launches. And that's just a screenshot taken from uh, the release notes of that latest preview build. And Microsoft uh, gives a description of what this is all about. And they say the controller bar opens when you pair or connect a controller, uh, pairing uh, that to your Windows 11 uh, running the latest Insider preview build. And your most recently played games and installed game launches are um, just a button press away and invoke the controller bar when you're not already in a game by pressing the Xbox uh, a button on your controller as we can see in that screenshot. So for gamers um, using controllers, I think that would be a nice improvement. And they also say that when you are playing a game, um, the Xbox button still takes you directly to the Xbox game bar and the gaming widgets you are used to as we can see once again uh, in these screenshots. And the recent game section includes up to three game titles um, you have played on your local device. So the controller bar will show up uh, show up to three game titles, um, as we can see in this screenshot, um, you have played on your local device. So that's the new, as I say, uh, the new preview of a feature called controller bar. Um, which is a preview of a new view of Xbox Game Bar, which rolled out now, and they are starting to test uh, in this latest Insider Preview Build, uh, 22616. That's now available, again, to both Dev and Beta Channel Insiders. And at this stage, though, it's not known if this new controller bar will actually make it to the final release of Build uh, uh, version 22H2. That will roll out as the first a feature update to Windows 11 to the stable version later on this year. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.